Ooh. Welcome back to The Blend. If you're a regular viewer with us, you know Sean and I often do interviews talking to people in other cities. And today, one of our favorite experts is here in studio joining us live. I got a hint. He's the youngest person to travel to every country in the world. A lot of us uh, talk about doing it. This guy actually did it. Travel cool. expert Lee Abamonte. He has the stamps on that passport to prove it. You, I mean, you probably need more than one at that point. If you add all my passports together, it's like a no phone book. Yeah, <laughs> you don't have to bring them all crazy. with you, though. You just uh, bring nah. the latest one. Yeah, the latest one's like this, and I'm actually holding on to it because the State Department won't give you extra pages now. So I'm like stamping on top of stamps. So I don't have to get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Why are you in Vegas this week? Is this the last place you didn't visit? I, yeah, I have never been to Vegas before. <laughs> yeah, right. No, I've been here like 200 times. I, I love it out here. <laughs> Do you spend more time on the road or at home? At home. I mean, I'm, I'm home in New York quite a bit. I yeah. spent a lot of time here in Las Vegas, L.A., uh, down in Scottsdale, Arizona. So I'm kind of all over the place. Gotcha. But New York's I, home. You have such a fascinating perspective, I think, because you, you have like an overview, literally, of the globe and how to travel. Um, I don't know. Tell us. We, we were talking about some of your favorite spots to travel to. You're about to head to Costa Rica yeah. right after this. Uh, what do you love about Costa Rica? Well, Costa Rica is like one of those places where they kind of invented ecotourism. In yeah. fact, I think they did invent yeah. ecotourism, and it's awesome. Awesome. You can go like zip lining through the jungle. Mm. You can see like uh, toucans and sloths and all kinds of crazy like wildlife and they have beautiful beaches and awesome golf and uh, really oh. nice people, good food, excellent beer. And it's just a great place to hang out. I, I love going down there. So I'll be in Costa Rica and in Nicaragua and I can't wait. And, and I mean, if you're thinking of all the countries in the world, 193 countries, there are a good portion of them that are like they're either tough to get into because of war or yep. because of dictators. The one that I think of is North Korea. You've been to North Korea? Lovely place. Really? Uh, no, no. It's no, uh, <laughs> it's, no, you've no. not been there. I was like, really? <laughs> no, it's, uh, I, I was actually in North Korea about 10 years ago. One you of didn't the, steal uh, any posters off. No, no, yeah, I no, didn't. Uh, propaganda, not really my thing. Yeah, okay. But uh, yeah, I just kind of uh, did my thing. I was there in Pyongyang for three days. I no did kidding. the tour. They show you what they want to show you. Yeah. You can't see anything else. And you're, you know, you mind your P's and Q's and you just do your thing. And it, it was actually a fascinating place to be to be fully honest yeah. mm -hmm. it was fascinating to be there to see how they at least they want to show you how they live when in fact most of the people there are starving there's no electricity and the, uh, the poverty is unbelievable but they take you down certain boulevards that are nice and clean and they show you what they want to show you in fact we were walking through a park once and they actually stopped a wedding for our group of tourists just to take pictures with the bride and groom oh, during no the wedding kidding. like that doesn't happen it was clearly staged you know wow. So, oh, my crazy. gosh, how interesting. We thought we'd do something uh, uh, kind of fun with you sure. and spin this globe, <laughs> and, and you can put your finger on it and stop it, and just maybe you can give us some insight on that area of the world. Now, if you, you He's better at Wheel of Fortune than me, so I'll there let you go. go. If you land in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, we're going to have a problem, perhaps. But. Oh, here we go. Uh, well, it's kind of boring. Brussels. Brussels, the home of chocolate, beer, waffles, NATO, and uh, that little oh. mannequin piss statue that, like, it's like a little boy like this big, oh, and, that, and he pees into a fountain. We've seen that, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the single most overrated tourist site in all of Europe, but uh, it's That's still pretty cool. That's the first place I'd go, actually. still pretty like cool it. to see. That's <laughs> all most people know. Okay, it's my turn. <laughs> we'll, we'll so, and, and while you're, uh, you've mentioned beer a couple times, I also learned that you really appreciate craft cocktails. Yes. Um, it, it, tell me about the best cocktail you've had this year and what country you were in? Well, in my opinion, the best crap craft cocktails are just any cocktails in the world. They're in New York and in London. And in fact, London is basically where they invented the cocktail. Yeah. And uh, if you look at the list of the top bars in the world, I think they have nine of them in London. There's a bar called the American Bar, which is, to me, the best bar on earth. It's a long way to go. Yeah, yeah. Bar, yeah. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's worth checking out. It's just incredible. What would you, if you saddled up to that bar right now, what would you order? I would just tell the bartender to make me anything uh, whiskey based and let him just go to town. Nice. Those okay. guys are so talented. We're going to show some photos of you from around the world. Just on a few. <laughs> You're like highlighting a San few. Diego. Look at these. Look at exciting. these. Oh, uh, I've heard that's gorgeous. Tom yeah, it's, it's gorgeous to see, something? especially if you get there early and you kind of get it to yourself. Is that's, that New Jersey? Uh, Good yeah. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brazil. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that. Okay, I landed my finger on Morocco. Oh, now, look at this. Is that a cheetah? Yeah, it is. That's uh, Kenya, actually. Uh, Morocco is a, a beautiful place. I've been there a couple times. It's uh, North Africa. It's kind of cool because it's like a clash of cultures because it's Africa, but it's kind of like the Middle East and kind of like Europe. So you get yeah. people speak French, they it's speak clash, Arabic, yeah. and you get a different mix of cultures. And like Marrakesh is a pretty cosmopolitan city. Casablanca, which most people have heard of, is really yeah. big and really not that great. But uh, there's a lot to do there. There's some smaller, cool towns, some beach towns. There's, you can actually like go surfing there. Nice. Is the architecture 
fascinating as I imagine? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. And, uh, you know, again, it's a mix of kind of a little bit Western, but mostly kind of Arabian style. And, uh, you know, they have this massive mosque in Casablanca. And, uh, but some of the, uh, the architecture in towns like Chef Chowakan, I don't even know how to pronounce it, <laughs> but, uh, you know, or, uh, or Zazate is pretty cool. Two things. First of all, have you been to all 50 states? Yes. Ooh, okay, you have been to all 50 good states. question. Uh, I, I asked you what your favorite country is. I'm going to go reversey on this one least uh, the, the, the most underrated country oh good one that's a good one um you know it, it, it's kind of like anytime you ask for the most or the best or the whatever it's almost impossible to pick sure. just one uh let me let me say it this way the place that i want to go back to the most is mongolia no kidding yeah because i was there for like three days and i didn't have enough time i didn't i was poor planning i didn't realize that like basically outside the city of Ulaanbaatar, the capital there's essentially no roads so you need to like plan like a four wheel drive trip ahead of time, which I didn't know, which I really wanted to. Super hyper That'd fast, be fun. 10 seconds, tips oh. for go taking a trip. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> uh, look, look around, Wikipedia, the airport, find out what airlines fly there, then go to individual airport sites to find the best deal, that's my opinion. Cool. Okay, and as we wrap, your tip for packing is very simple. Take half the clothes and twice the money. Boom. Love that. <laughs> he is a trip. Follow our friend Lee Abamonte as he traverses the globe. You can visit his website. It's up there on your screen. You can also follow him as I do on social media. Twitter is your main thing. Uh, okay. Instagram and Facebook. Instagram oh, and Facebook go. as well. All right.